Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about skincare. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little skincare fridge, vault, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, look at all these freaking products. Yeah, this is how I keep my skin really, really clear. So I'm going to be grabbing the products as I go through my skincare routine. Obviously, I'm not gonna talk about every single product because we would be here forever, but I do talk about the products that I love and that I would recommend to you guys. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I went out last night. It was one of those nights where you just get home late and you're like, fuck, I'm gonna take off my makeup. So I took off my makeup, but I didn't wash my face. I know, shame on me, horrible. Horrible. <laughs> I want to show you guys the wipes that I use because honestly, I had no idea that makeup wipes do play a huge important role in your skincare because I used to use the Neutrogena ones and those were so oily and I would notice that I would always break out with the little, it's, they're like Melia bumps. They're not actually pimples, but they're like the ones that are really hard to pop. And it was because the Neutrogena wipes had too much oil in them. So it would clog up my pores. So I moved to these cleansing, Towelettes and they, these are calm. They're really good for the skin. They're really calming. These um are not oily at all. I love the smell of them. They don't have any fragrance. Um, they're paraben free and I love them. These are the CVS brand. I literally go to CVS and I pick these up. Bomb. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and wash my face with the Purity Face Wash, bitch. If you have been looking for a new face wash, I really, really, really recommend this one. This one's really, really good. It deep cleans pores and eliminates makeup buildup. Amazing. Hydrates as it melts away makeup. This is actually very true because after I wash my face, usually it's really dry. But this one actually hydrates it, which is why I like it. It contains deep clean cleansing agents. Natural oil extracts help condition skin. It's fragrance-free, which is always a must in any skincare you don't want any fragrance here's a little tip for you guys i always apply hot water first onto my face to open up your pores you want to open up your pores though when you add the cleanser um the cleanser actually goes into the pores and cleans it because when you use cold water cold water will shrink your pores and it'll be harder to get the product out um another tip now i'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys i saw um, this like tweet go viral about washing your face for a full minute and everybody like sore by it They're like, oh my god, my skin got so clear and it is true washing your face for a full minute Does have its effects for some people I remember reading some replies and some girl was like, oh my god Like I tried it out and I broke out and I was one of those people um, My skin is just not used to like all the extraness like doing an extra step So I usually just do it for like 30 seconds like I am now and I'll be done because I washed my face for a minute straight for like two, three nights and I noticed that I started breaking out and it's just because my skin is so used to me just doing it fast. But it likes all the other shit, okay? My skin is just really bougie and difficult. <laughs> so after washing my face, I go ahead and I use toner. I used to be that one bitch that was like, ah, toner doesn't do anything. And I never use toner, but this one is really, really good. Even after reading the Sephora reviews, I was like hooked and I was like, okay, I have to buy this. This is really, really good for people that struggle with acne and scars. This will literally help minimize the acne and the texture. So this is the Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. And I have combo skin, so I tend to break out of my T-zone area and obviously whenever I don't wash my face or if I sleep in my makeup. So I've been dealing with this little pimple over here and now it's little, bitch. It was fucking huge, okay? And what I started doing is I would grab my toner, just get a little pad, Put some on there and I would just hold it right here for probably like a good two, three minutes, five of them feeling like really fancy. Um, I'm going to Texas tomorrow and I usually break out when I go to Texas. So I've been doing this for the past three nights and it has literally helped. I didn't want to pop this pimple because it wasn't like, it wasn't turning white and obviously you're not supposed to pop them if they're not white. So I was like, what the fuck is going on? So I started using this and it really helped. Um, I also use it on my forehead. This is where I struggle with texture and obviously my nose. That's where I get oily the most. All right, so after my toner comes serums and I have a shit ton of serums. They all have different purposes, but these are my top five favorite razor. One, two, three, four, five, 
six favorites. So this one is for refining pores and soothes rough skin. So whenever I am dealing with a lot of texture or if my pores are opening up, I like to use that one. This one is my favorite one out of all of them. This one is for brightening dark spots in an even tone. I struggle a lot with you know, having sunspots and an even tone, so I use that one. This one is a hydrating and soothing serum, so I use that one when I'm really, really dry. This one is from Glow Recipe. This one is pretty new. This is the new pineapple one. Not gonna lie, that one kind of smells like piss. Not to throw shade or anything. I just don't like the smell of it, but it's really, really good. It's a brightening serum. And then these two are my top, 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 top fave. So here we have the Copper Complex Peptide, which I've talked about multiple, multiple times. And then you have the Ultimate Growth Serum. This one is really, really, really fucking bomb. Um, especially if I'm like breaking out or if I'm having a lot of... Um, Melia bumps, this one helps a lot. I like to use this one at night. Well, actually, I, I tend to switch. I either use both in my night or one in the morning, one in the night. But for today, we're going to be grabbing the ginger one. Wait, actually, I'm about to take my espresso shots. This should be like regular shots, right? I mean, I can take shots, so this shouldn't be anything. It's good. It's good? Yeah. It's strong. Cheers, bitch. Ew! What? Ew! Oh my god, I got. Oh, I didn't even finish it. Ew! Ugh. Ugh. That was fucking horrible. Anyways. <laughs> So I struggle with a lot of unevenness on my sides of my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, the Ginger Vitamin C Serum Shot. You use this right after cleansing and toning. Now, a lot of people tend to apply moisturizer and then serums. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, no, bitch. That's not what you do. If you apply moisturizer before a serum, the serum will not be able to seep into your pores. And pretty much you're applying all the products for no reason because they're not even going to work. So always make sure to apply serums before you apply moisturizer. And another um, tip that I have is to let the products sink and dry in between. Uh, because if you just go straight in with the moisturizer, it's going to kind of mix a little. So you want to wait for this one to absorb into the skin. If I'm feeling fancy, I will go ahead and add two serums. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm next going to use the Copper Complex Peptide. Um, this one you can only purchase it online or if you live in Glendale. My facialist sells them. This is her own skincare brand. Bitch. She looks like a porcelain doll. So when she recommended me this, I started using it. I know Alyssa Ash uses it. Jackie Ina uses it. It's really, really good. And this product goes a long way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be grabbing this bad boy right here. This is a rose quartz roller. Now, this has a lot of benefits. And, bitch, this makes you feel so fucking good. Especially because it's cold. It feels so nice on the skin. Let me go ahead and read you guys the benefits. Facial rolling is relaxing and de-stressing. This will help the oils absorb better, increasing the benefits. Um, you can also put this into your fridge and it'll have a better effect. But this will also support circulation and natural collagen production, which is good. Um, it drains congested lymphatic nodes, rid of the body toxins, and helps with sinus issues. Oh, wow, I didn't even know that. We move up to here and we have my favorite moisturizers. Here I have my sleeping mask. Um, if you are looking for a really good sleeping mask, I do recommend the watermelon one or the avocado one. I prefer the avocado one just because a bitch loves avocado, but you know, if I want like a fresh scent, I go for the watermelon one. But we're gonna go ahead and use my Belief moisturizers. You guys know this one is like my top, top favorite moisturizer out of all of them. Um, here I have the Aqua Bomb and then I have the Moisturizing Bomb. I like to use the Aqua Bomb in the morning and then this one before my makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. So now I do want to recommend a product for people that struggle with really, really dry skin to the point where it's like itching or you have eczema. This right here will literally save your life. This is the Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration to help hydrate dry, parched skin, temporarily help relieve minor irritation, itching due to eczema and other conditions. This was even best in the Beauty Award for Allure. So it's really, really good. This is from the First Aid Beauty 
um, brand. I'm not going to use this right now because I don't need it, but I want to go ahead and recommend that for my girls out there that struggle with um, eczema and really, really dry skin. The products already went ahead and they dried. Now I'm going to go ahead and use moisturizer. This moisturizer is so good. Every time I get my makeup done by like a professional makeup artist or a celebrity makeup artist, they always use this moisturizer is why i live by it as well because it's so good also do not forget to do your eyebrows okay because i never moisturize my eyebrows and i always end up getting like flaky for my hair and then when i use my eyebrow products it looks really bad and of course we want to put this on the neck as well bitch if you don't put cream on your neck when you're older and you start getting like the little gold thing and the wrinkles you're gonna regret it okay start applying moisturizer on your fucking neck it's good i promise so next in my skincare routine is eye cream. This is just a little lip scrub, so ignore that. I have here three different ones. My favorite, favorite one definitely has to be the ginseng one, just because that one gives me like a really nice glow under my makeup. But my second favorite one is the Banana Bright Cream, which is the one that I've been using lately. And then I have this other one from Origins down there for deep puffing. Loving the Ole Henriksen Banana ones. This is the one I'm going to be using. You know, under eye creams are really, really, really important. Uh, I remember Karen, I love Sarai, she would tell me to start using under eye cream because I told her that I would um, I would get like little bumps down here and I would get really bad bags and she said under eye cream really does help with deep puffing, it helps with bags. So if you struggle with under eye bags, discoloration or the little um, bumps down here, you have to start using under eye cream. It is really, really important. It doesn't have the same benefits as a regular moisturizer because this is just specifically for the eyes. I always make sure to use this in the morning so it helps with the puffiness, it brightens my under eyes and I also like to use it in my T-zone area. Since it brightens the under eyes, it will also brighten the other areas. Okay, so meanwhile that is so meanwhile that is setting, I'm going to go ahead and shave my mustache. I used to use a razor. Biggest mistake ever because I like shaved the little sides and I broke out, obviously because that razor is too intense for the face. And I ended up like growing hairs back there and it, it just wasn't good. So these are specifically made for your face. I literally just go to a beauty supply store or you can order these on Amazon for like 99 cents. All I do is I literally do upward motions for my mustache. When I used to shave it with an actual razor, like I'll be in the shower and I'll just go like this, the hairs will grow back so quickly. I don't know what's up with this that they don't grow back. And then, um, what I'll do is I'll just do the little sides right here. Any little extra hairs that I have that I don't want. Um, another thing that I want to suggest is this right here. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this before. This is a little, little pimple popping tool. Um, so pretty much it has one side for regular pimples and then the other side is for blackheads. I would recommend you use this little tool before you do anything. So pretty much all you would do is just like wherever you have a pimple like press down on it and then like drag and the product should come right out this has helped me avoid scarring a lot and it just makes it way easier just make sure you wash it and sanitize it because if you keep using it over and over again without washing it you're most likely gonna break out so i'm still waiting for the moisturizers to set in so i'm gonna go ahead and exfoliate my lips now when i used to have my lip filler my liquid lipstick will look fucking amazing obviously because i didn't have any wrinkles on my lips but not the lip filler is gone i have the wrinkles back but i find that when i ex i exfoliate my lips it reduces the little wrinkles on my lips and it makes the liquid lipstick look so much nicer because i don't have all the extra dead skin there and it just leaves it really really smooth mm -hmm. it doesn't taste so good all right, so usually what I do for the lips is I go ahead and I apply a balm and then I add a gloss on top of that just to make sure that my lips are really, really, really hydrated. This is actually my favorite balm at the moment. Um, this is the Lip Smackers Vanilla. My little cousin got me like a huge... You're leaving me? Um, no. Mm. I'm just going downstairs. Okay. I got bored in you. <laughs> ah, ah. What I'm going to do is apply some... Oh, it tastes so good. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. So after applying that, this is my favorite lip glossy. I know so many people have recommended this, bitch. I promise you, you will end up loving this. Freaking Tiffany downstairs loves this product. She tries to take it all the time. The Kapari lip glossy, amazing. Oh, that's my shit. Yeah, that's her shit. <laughs> um, every time I have a friend, they always ask me for this. It's so freaking good. 
Um, I like to apply this just as a regular lip balm or what I do is I apply lip liner and then this on top and it looks so freaking nice and this will literally keep your lips hydrated all the time. Usually when me and Tiff are about to go clubbing, we take this one because our lips stay hydrated the whole night. All right, so we are almost done. All we need left is a facial spray. Okay, so after I'm done, I like to spray my face with the mist and this is the one that I've been loving lately. So this is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This just helps me seal everything and this smells really, really good. So after I'm done, it makes me feel like I'm complete. Mm. Oh my God, so good. Mm. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching my little skincare routine, my little skincare fridge situation. If you go out and buy any of these products and try it out, definitely let me know. I would like to know what your results are. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Fucking special shock. I'm mean, like this. <laughs>